Welcome to Beneficiary Designations, a Wisconsin Retirement System topic. By the end of this presentation, you'll be able to define beneficiary and standard sequence, explain the importance of a beneficiary form, identify who or what could be a beneficiary, select the appropriate beneficiary form, and update your beneficiary. Let's start off with a few important definitions that you'll need to know during this presentation. A beneficiary is someone you name to receive any potential benefits upon your death. That's what this whole presentation is about, how to make sure the right beneficiaries receive your benefits. In order to make sure the right people receive your benefits, you must designate a beneficiary by completing one of ETF's designation forms. Benefits are always paid based on the most recent and valid beneficiary designation received at ETF before your death. Benefits will not automatically be paid according to your last will and testament. If you do not complete a form, standard sequence is applied. Standard sequence is the order that your money will be distributed according to Wisconsin law. Payment is made to the first living person or people in this graphic and moved down the line until one is found. The first person to receive your benefits would be your surviving spouse or domestic partner. If they die or don't exist, then your children or grandchildren will receive equal shares of the benefit and so forth. If there are no survivors identified through standard sequence, any death benefits will be paid to your estate. If you do not want standard sequence to be followed, you must fill out a beneficiary designation form so that your WRS benefits will be distributed according to your instructions. Next, we're going to look at how to designate a beneficiary to receive your benefits. You may name one or multiple beneficiaries. A beneficiary does not have to be related to you. You may name an individual or multiple individuals, including future children or grandchildren. You may name an entity such as a charity, religious organization, etc. You may name a trust. You may name your estate. You may not name the individual entity, trust, or estate more than once on the form. Because the beneficiary designation form is a legally binding document, there are some mistakes that we would like to avoid. If you make any of these mistakes, your form will be rejected and you will have to complete a new one. When naming beneficiaries, do not use nicknames. Please write out the full first and last name of each beneficiary. Avoid strikeouts, whiteouts, and erasures. Do not use numerals denoting order of beneficiaries. Order is determined based on what section they are listed in, primary or secondary. Do not use special instructions and notations. Avoid references to future events or using the word OR. And do not designate a beneficiary by letter. Only the beneficiary form is legally binding. ETF has two different forms to choose from to designate a beneficiary or multiple beneficiaries. The first form is the beneficiary designation ET-2320. Use this form to name primary and secondary beneficiaries for your WRS retirement benefit and your Wisconsin Public Employer's Life Insurance, if your employer offers it. Each person designated will receive one-third of the death benefit. If someone dies, the remaining beneficiaries split the entire benefit. You may also designate a percentage of the benefit that will go to each beneficiary by writing a percentage before or after the name of the beneficiary. These percentages must equal 100% in each section. Use the Beneficiary Designation Alternate Form, ET-2321, 
to specify who shall receive a primary beneficiary share of a death benefit if they were to die before you. In the primary section, you may designate a beneficiary or beneficiaries like the regular document. Everyone listed would receive an equal share unless you indicate percentages. Just a reminder, the total of percentages must equal 100%. In the alternate primary section, write the name of one of the primary beneficiaries. Then, designate who will receive equal shares of Beneficiary A's benefit. In this case, Person A's beneficiaries, 1, 2, and 3, would each receive the percentages as listed of Beneficiary A's one-third share. The same pattern is followed for Beneficiary B and Beneficiary C. If you have any questions, call ETF at 1-877-533-5020 and a benefit specialist would be happy to help you. Before submitting your form to ETF, make sure that you have filled out the top of the form and that you signed and dated the form. If these sections are missing, the form will be rejected. You have two ways to submit a form to ETF. First, you can fax the form to ETF by dialing 608-267-4549 or send the form in the mail to the Wisconsin Department of Employee Trust Funds at P.O. Box 7931, Madison, Wisconsin, 53707-7931. Do not send the form to your employer. You must submit it directly to ETF. Your beneficiary information does not automatically change when a life event occurs. You'll need to fill out a new form and send it in to ETF each time a change must be made. Some examples of life events that may make you want to update your beneficiaries are marriage you may want to add your spouse as a beneficiary. Children. Any children that you may have or adopt. Grandchildren. Death. A family member's death could alter the order of your designation. And divorce. Your ex-spouse is not automatically removed. You will have to update the form to remove them. As a reminder, Beneficiaries can be trusts, organizations, charities, etc. Make sure to update your beneficiary form each time a life event occurs so the right people receive your death benefit. Now we're going to look at some important information to share with people in charge of your affairs when you die. If you are an active member, your beneficiaries will receive a death benefit that includes the full amount of the WRS account plus the interest it has gained. Beneficiaries of inactive members or alternate payees will receive a death benefit that includes the money the member had deposited plus interest. The beneficiaries will also receive WRS life insurance benefits if your employer participates and you have signed up for them. Once you retire and start receiving your annuity, your beneficiaries would receive a WRS death benefit based on the annuity option you selected. If you continue your WRS life insurance benefits into retirement, your benefit coverage will be 100% until the age of 65. At age 65, the benefit coverage goes down to 75% of the basic plan and down to 50% at age 66. Depending on which program your employer enrolled in, it may reduce down to 25% at age 67. When a WRS member dies, contact ETF at 1-877-533-5020, Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m or contact Wisconsin Relay 711 for the hearing impaired. The following information must be provided to the benefit specialist. The deceased's full name, address, and date of birth. The date of death. 
and the ETF member ID or social security number, the caller's relationship to the deceased, and the primary contact for more information. Please include their name, address, and telephone number and their relationship to the deceased. Now I'd like to show you a few of the resources on our website that you may find helpful. Check out our Designate a Beneficiary page by clicking the My Info button in the upper right hand corner of the website and click Designate a Beneficiary. On this page, you will find detailed information about designating beneficiaries, links to the forms that we showed you in this presentation, along with resources to help you fill out the forms. Find out about this topic and other topics by watching videos on our website by clicking on Member Education, then click Videos. Stay connected to ETF. Get up-to-date information about your WRS benefits by subscribing to ETF email updates, talking with a benefits specialist, or connecting with ETF on one of our Twitter or LinkedIn social media sites.